module or a tutorial we looked at uh, how we use uh, for loops to do repetitive tasks in uh, python and uh, in most cases for loops are normally used with conditions and one of the most common conditions that we use for loop with is uh, the if condition so in this case i'm going to demonstrate how the if condition works inside a for loop so uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to have iterate through this uh, five numbers and if I get uh, to my favorite number then I want the code to simply print favorite number so how am I going to do this so I'm going to ask myself out of these five numbers which one is my favorite number so in this case let me choose three although three is not my favorite number but I'll say three and then uh, I'll make the code run in such a way that when it it arrives at three it will first go check at one and check if it's my favorite number then it skips two it doesn't print anything at three it will print three go to four doesn't print five so it will only return or print favorite number or print the word favorite number when it arrives at three so to do that i will simply do for n in numbers which is this already specified here and then enter and then i'll say if n which is this here is equivalent or equal to three so remember this is an assign operator in python is not the same as the algebraic uh, equal and then if n is equivalent to three then full colon then you simply do print this is my favorite number and to add that i'll just do comma to print the number itself n and then i'll uh, let me leave it at that and run it so it will check uh, if the numbers so you'll check the first one is it my favorite number no it's not three uh, it goes to the second one it's n is n equal to three no it goes to three if n is equal to three it simply execute this code otherwise if it's not three it will simply not print anything so let me run that and you can see it has printed this is my favorite number three so this example is not very very much logical but uh, it will make more sense uh, when we introduce an extra condition so i want us to do that before uh i don't know if i've got more time to the video but uh, i want us to do to run uh go through 20 from one run from ev print every number from 1 to 20 but if that number is 13 then uh i'll stop or i will skip 13 and go to 14 so i want to return all the numbers between 1 to 20 except 13 why because some people believe 13 is an unlucky number so i'm gonna do that so i'll say for numbers in range let me use number for number in range 1 to 21 then i'll say if number is equivalent to 13 then what i'll do is there's a python term called continue it's a function it will simply skip that and then i'll say else so else is another condition we're going to look at in the next section print number so what this code does is it will check all the numbers between 1 and 21 if any of those numbers is 13 of which of course there's 13 in between 1 and 21 it will simply skip it and then print the other numbers so let's run that so we don't expect to see 13 in our list of printed numbers uh -huh. oh so i forgot to say range in so you can see it has printed 1 2 3 until 12 when it arrives at 13 it simply skipped it because I added a condition here that tells it to skip 13. So basically, uh, it first of all runs through each of those numbers and then it asks itself, is that number 13? 
if it's 13 then it simply skips otherwise it prints the other numbers so that is how you add conditions to your uh, python code